Hello and welcome back. My name is Amunli and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python 3.7.4 and pip on Microsoft Windows. So this is Microsoft Windows 10 as you can see. And if you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 32-bit or 64-bit, you should not have any issue downloading and installing Python the latest version of Python 3.7.4 so go ahead and check your system type you can simply go to control panel and then system and security and then you go to system and you will get this page otherwise uh, locate Windows key on your keyboard which is on the left bottom somewhere and pause and break button on the right top of the keyboard so press both keys to get together Windows key and pause and break and you will see the same page here So you can check the system type here now once you know the system type let's go ahead and download the right Python installer file for our system so click on this uh, do not click on put your cursor on this downloads button then you go to Windows button and click Windows now here you see you got so many uh, releases download for Microsoft Windows operating systems okay so these are the releases that you had okay so which you saw these are all releases you can just look you can see and go through one by one but for this video we are going to focus on 3.7.4 so this is release for 3.7.4 if you just click on this and open in a new tab this will take you to this files page specifically for Microsoft uh, Python 3.7.4 if you're looking for any older version or releases of Python you can uh, look up here this that specific version of Python like 3.5 3.4 uh, 3. Point yet yet to come 3.8 if you want to try you can try this one uh, which is on uh, was released on October the 1st 2019 so it's already out okay so you can try those if you wish to but in this video let's go ahead and try downloading the 3.7.4 version of Python so as my system is 64 bit I'll go ahead and try the 64 bit down installer if your system is 32 bit you will try this uh, x86 executable installer okay so if you click on it it's going to download the python executable file but i do not need the 32 bit i need the 64 bit okay so i'll go ahead and click on this and this is going to download this file so this is executable file if you wish to take it to another computer you can take it port it to other computers so I already have downloaded this executable for 64-bit operating system so I already have downloaded the 64-bit Python which is on my desktop now I'll go ahead and minimize it and go to desktop so here is the Python 3.7 64-bit executable installer so now I can go ahead and run it simply go ahead and locate your your Python executable file it could be in the downloads folder or if you have chosen to save on the desktop just make sure you have found it now once you have found this this executable file go ahead and double click on it now you will see this installer wizard and what you have to do the very most important thing is you have to check this box okay so this is going to add python to the system path so that you can execute python from command line and any application will by default pick it up okay so once you've done it you have checked this add python 3.7 to path we would also like to install pip so make sure you have not made any changes so do not uncheck any of these okay so if you want pip to be installed go ahead and click here install now and pip will also be installed with python okay so it is going to take hardly a minute and you will have python 3.7.4 and pip 
installed on your operating system you can see it is installing pip as well and now it is installed python and pip tk enter as well this is how you go ahead and download and install python pip and tk enter as well so i'll quickly go ahead and make sure and verify that i've got python pip and tk enter as well so here we are if i go ahead and type python space hyphen uppercase v i will have python 3.7.4 if i see if i say pip uh, space hyphen uppercase v i will have python 19.2.3 if i i want to try and check if i've got tk enter so i will simply say import tk enter and without error that means it's already installed so that is it for this video guys if you have any issue installing download downloading and installing python paper tk enter please leave your comment and questions in this section below the comment section and i'll be more than happy to answer it thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day